What inspires my activism is the day-to-day -day struggles that I face, but it's not just the struggles, it's also about like the love and the community that I live with, um, and also the struggles that we as women face, particularly black women, Ethiopian women, African women. So the struggles, the day-to-day -day challenges is what inspires me to do something. The word activism, particularly in Ethiopia, is not welcomed. It's seen as something negative, as something bad. So whenever you say you're an activist, people don't welcome you, they don't listen to you. So really making people listen to you is the hard part, because every time you speak, they try to sil silence you. So being told to be quiet is the most uh, challenging thing in this work. So one of my strategies is to be myself, first and foremost, in everything that I do. Uh, not to be afraid, no matter what people say. Um, this work is not difficult, it's tiring, it's exhausting. Sometimes you're like, oh, why am I doing this? But then again, the problems prevail. So not being um, hopeless, being very hopeful, and then also envisioning a better world. So my message and uh, my advice to the Pan-African youth is not to be afraid and then to speak their minds. No matter what, there's somebody out there listening to them. So speak up, don't be afraid, and then also trust in yourself and then believe in a better world. I know things look hopeless, but there's hope and never to give up hope.